Uh, what's going on? We're live. We're live. We got Bonje. One person is here and we're live. Two people are here. We got somebody on YouTube as well. This is exciting. What's going on, everybody? All two people. Loving it. Just going to wait for another person or two to get in here. Get situated. Get ourselves ready. Because we are in for another exciting episode of Peter Box Unboxed. Today's box. Did I start this one? Oh, I got to start this camera. What am I doing? Messing up left and right. Messing up left and right. Getting into today's mystery box. Today's mystery box is brought to you by Retro Kickback on Twitter. Retro Kickback is another Beater Box member, and he had a whole bunch of shoes he was trying to get rid of, so he decided to get some out the door. He said, give me a price. I'll make you a box. I'll make a little bit of profit on it. I said, let's make it happen. So we got this box, unknown value right here. Hopefully a bunch of pairs of shoes. He already told me that there's a couple pairs I'll be able to do some restoration work on, so oh, pretty bye. excited about that. Yeah. But uh, we got to get started off with a little – beverage here first as as is our style now one of the reasons why i especially need this beverage today is i was just on hold for two hours and 45 minutes trying to find out where my unemployment checks are because of covid it got mailed out yesterday cheers cheers two hours and 45 minutes on hold fuck that shit here's the check in the mail checks in the mail let's make it happen baby we got that money coming in. Got a question here. Do I restore kicks? Uh, a little bit of restoration work going on right now. Primarily just selling, but I did get into the restoration world. One of the pairs that you can see that I'm still working on here a little bit. These Concords. Did some de-yellowing on those. I have another four pairs that just got finished up recently, which are sitting over to the side. Uh, that video actually goes live on Sunday, so keep an eye open for that video. That's going to be live on my YouTube, 4 o'clock on Sunday. They, they look really good. Yeah, they look awesome. And I actually just started another five pairs two nights ago or three nights ago. So I got some of that stuff going on, and the next step is going to be doing some repainting jobs. So that's what I'm looking to get into next. But I still have a couple of other things I want to take care of before I get started with that. Pardon me while I eat. You're not going to offer me one? I offered you before the video started. <laughs> Just got to be a pain in the ass. A little jerk. <laughs> to our traditional drinking game here, do you got your phone? What? I don't know. Oh, no. Oh, no. Now it's now who's messing up? Me. <laughs> Wait, I do. <laughs> I don't know how to drink it's right it. there. So what we got to do here, we're going to take up the, uh, we're going to take a look at the prices on StockX. So Lola has to guess the dead stock value of the sneakers that were pulling from the box on StockX in between the sell now and buy now. And if, if she, I get it right, she has to drink. I drink. And if she, if she uh, gets a Jordan guess wrong, she gets a Jordan incorrectly, she drinks. Drink. But we've expanded that a little bit. And now she has to drink uh, for a couple of other things too. Right, uh, you have to guess like if there's like Ultra Boost and NNDs and that right, type of right, shit. Right. Yeah. Cause you know that, you know that, or at least you should. I should. Let's get into this box here, though. Unknown value to everybody. So whoever is going to be in here, I'd love to hear some of your guesses as to what the value of this box is if you stick around for the whole thing. And we are into the box here. I will say, he did a good job. He padded this box up pretty nicely with a couple of couple of inserts here so that way nothing's going to get smashed around smashed around so awesome job on the packing absolutely love that again follow retro kickback on twitter that is his twitter handle he does not have an instagram but you can find him there he's got a great assortment of stuff he is another one of our uh, beater box members through soul supremacy getting into the start of the box here oh would you look at that it's a little a little Supreme care package. We have a Supreme shower cap. Whoa, shower cap. In what I hope is dead stock condition. I, one would hope. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it might not be, but I, I hope mean, so. Cool. 
<laughs> Can you imagine a used shower cap? That actually really but happened. it's supreme, so that shit would still sell. Like, like it was used by someone like super cool. Yeah, yeah. Few bogos here. Have a sticker with some little kids writing I love Satan on the wall. So that's always always a good look, I suppose. Um, and there is, let's see, there's another sticker in here too. I can't get to it though. Uh, Supreme oh. King of New York. That's actually kind of cool. That's kind of cool. That might be a keeper. I definitely have sold Supreme stickers for like way more money than a sticker should ever go for. So I might sell them, but these ones I kind of like, and I don't know. We'll see. And a bouncy ball, Supreme bouncy ball, just in case you want to chuck some things at people. <laughs> the shower cap. <laughs> Shoe game crazy. Yeah. Always supporting, man. That's what's up. What else you got in here? Stone Cold. Stone Cold's in the building. All right. So we're going to put the Supreme away, and we're going to get into the box here. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm feeling like today's my day, guys, and we're going to get him to drink on every single pair with your help. Oh, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, you don't know. So right here. This is a, what is it? <laughs> you should know this one. This is. Is, or, it, off, is it an off-white? It is an off-white. Yeah, 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 you got it. But like off-white is, is a very broad spectrum. I know, things, so. but still I got, kind of got it. It's like a cleat. This is the Vapor Street. Vapor Street. Woman size 12, men size 10 and a half. They're cool. They're lightweight. Well, they're a running sneaker. That's been. And they feel like super yeah, light. Like um, These are interesting. This cracks me up. Every, I know it's a thing, but it cracks me up that the shoelaces are labeled shoelaces. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I I don't get it. I just like I personally I don't understand off white. No, not if at some, all. If somebody could like enlighten me as to why I should love off white as much as other people do, then I would okay. love to know. But I don't get it. it I just cracks don't me get it. Every time. It's it's off white though, and it's dead sock. I was hoping that this would have the price on it. No, it does not. It does not have the price on it. There's two sets of shoelaces. Yeah, and is, guess what? The other one is also labeled shoelaces. Oh, I was gonna say, are they both yeah. labeled that way? No, just in just case you're paper. just in case you're having difficulties figuring out. So we are looking for the oh, dead man. stock cost, which is going to be a pretty accurate. This, depiction of what we're doing. This guy here, 704, said they're bricks. So I'm going to not, not get as high <laughs> as I originally was going to get. Damn, don't give it away. Don't make me drink. <laughs> Why not? It's Friday. Yeah, you're right. And I was just on hold for two hours and 45 minutes. Yeah. Guess what? That's going to be the theme of this. I was gonna That's going to be the theme of this, people. Two hours, 45 minutes. I okay. just messed up that number. What's the cost? I'm looking, Give me a guess. I'm looking for you got just another second here because I'm almost 400. at 400. Wow. 400? What do you think? I was going to say more like 250. 250. 250 is a little bit high. Sell now price 141. Buy now price 174. I ain't drinking. Well, don't you just want to anyway? Yep. Go ahead. <laughs> Pour me one while I get the next one out, please, and thank you. Yeah, twist, him, twist his arm for that. Twist my arm really, really hard. First pair, off-whites. Still off-whites, so though. Still I what I would kill. classify as height, I guess you could say. You know, maybe not that pair, but... I'm pouring lefty, and I'm not a lefty. All right. Thank you. Yes. We have here... Another pair that you probably will not know. Some people in the audience might know this one. Phone a friend. What are they? Phone a friend. They're heirs. They are heirs, but they're heir what's? I don't know, but I've seen them before in gold. <laughs> You're right. Those are the supreme ones. Um, the supreme ones are the gold ones. What are these? These are the air up tempos. Oh, I would never have guessed that. And I don't know the specific colorway. There's an eight on the back there, though. I'm trying to get all cameras today because I'm really bad at that. Just don't worry about it. All right. <laughs> we got Rick. Besides the off-white Jordan 1 Chicago, the rest are kind of meh. 
Rick, I agree with you, bro. Thank you for that. He's a uh, Ricky show not on YouTube right now. And I am definitely with you, you brother. Here for I am with you. We have some off, uh, some off weight, some up tempos. And these look like maybe tried on condition. These could very well be dead stock. They, they definitely look like they're in solid, solid condition. Oh, for sure. Yeah. What do you think? Give me a, uh, give me a guesstimate on the price here. Size 11 men's, 12 and a half women's. I don't like this when I don't know the shoe. <laughs> um, 180. These are the Nike Air More Uptempo Olympics Holy. for 20, for 2020. Or maybe 20, I gotta, I guess we gotta look at the actual date it here. Huh? These are 2020, yeah, 2021s. And they're in a size 11. What'd you say? 180. 180. It is a buy now price of 161, sell now price of 153. Lola is a little bit off, just a little tiny, tiny bit off have here. To make, which flavor did you want? I'm gonna oh, either one, just okay. So Lola's a little bit off in her guess, but we have a pair of the 2020 Nike Air Up Tempo Olympics here. Those are going for right around the uh, 150 to 180 is high spectrum range. That's for shipping and stuff. You know, I could probably label them as that. Wishful thinking. Wishful thinking. All right. So let's go with a model that you'll know probably. It's all over the box. I'm trying to hide it as best as I can. What's that? Yeezy. It's a Yeezy. What number Yeezy is it? That's right here. So 350. Fuck! <laughs> Stupid box, man. These You're boxes. pointing it right at me. <laughs> yes, sir. What's up, family? Where's your soul? What's good? Oh, we got Ryan Roosters in the building. Hey, Rooster. Three fifty. It's on every fucking side, other than this one right here. You should have held it there. You know what? I didn't know that. <laughs> wow. 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 Dead stock again. Wow. Jeez, these are. These are a little bit different in person than all the pictures make them out to be. The color, the I kind orange, of like this orange. The orange is like crazy vibrant. I know. I kind of like it. Otherwise, it's kind of blocked, but the orange makes it something. These are also dead stock. So Retro Kickback is like hooking up a mainly dead stock box so far, which is huge. God. Like everybody that sells sneakers knows. Guys, how if much they're not worn, they go for a lot more money. What would you guys say and is your best guess this one costs? <laughs> Dead, stock. <laughs> Dead stock on stock X in between the buy now and sell now. Because, you know, I don't buy Which is what these are. I Dead don't stock. Buy so. Easy's often, so I don't know. buy easy stock, but when I do, they're cloud blues. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I love my clouds. You got just a couple of seconds left here to guess it before. Or I'm going to give it away. And then you're going to drink. Kinda, I kind of saw, but I also didn't read it very quickly. Oh, no. Did somebody give it to her? No, I read it on no? the screen. Oh. What, do you <laughs> what, is, what is it? These are expensive. Okay. We're going to go with two. Thirty. Two thirty. Wow. You're guessing below retail right now. If you're taking taxes into account. She's a little bit off. A little okay. bit under. What's the range? Buy now, 273. Sell now, 246. So I saw the two and I saw the three. I missed the seven. That's what I get for cheating. She's trying to cheat. <laughs> She's trying to cheat. That shit ain't working. That's not how this happens. Not in this house. <laughs> Cheaters. You know what? I just want to help you drink because you were on the phone for two hours and 45 minutes. Two hours and 45 minutes. Can you believe that shit? I'm just okay. trying to help you out. I know. Okay. All right. So we are officially three pairs into this box, which has six pairs in it. We're going to go with this yeah, one here. No, the confession. Okay, These are all way too easy for you to guess. This is in a size 11 and a half. You guys will know just from the box here. These are a pair of Jordans, and you should 100% know what these are. Oh, these are 
these are 11s. These are 11s. I thought this was a totally different pair, actually, when I first saw the box. I thought the blue was a legend blue, but it's not. And I'm ashamed of myself. Look at this. We got, where's your soul? For what, me? Dude, so the way that they give out money for unemployment for COVID is through debit cards through Bank of America. Now, those debit cards are good for a total of three years. I happened to break my arm in the uh, spring. It was just about two, two years and two months ago, I'd say, right about now. I broke my arm, and I was on disability. Come to find out that disability and unemployment run through the same card. So obviously after I healed up from my broken arm, I trashed that card thinking I don't have any issues. So now all of the money for my unemployment is getting dispersed onto the old card that I had, which is for my, or was for my disability, but is now for unemployment. So I was on the phone trying to figure out what the hell was going on and when I was gonna see the $4,000 that I need for unemployment and it's in the trash. Uh, yeah. So basically what they said is that my card got issued. I had a new card that got issued yesterday and they're going to send one, another one express. So good. It, it, it all ended well, but fuck man, three hours on the phone, two hours and 45 minutes. They should pay you just for that. They should pay me for that. Right. So look at this shit right here. These are clean, 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 clean yeah, as a motherfucker. Clean. And maybe would be good for an icing. I was gonna say if if you have anything that you need, I think that these, I think that these could take a good icing, and these are gonna come out super solid. Really, really good condition here. Right. Just a little bit of yellowing on the soles. Not awful. Just a little. They look good though. They do look good. These are the Jordan Eleven Gammas. Gamma. Gamma. Like the sorority gamma? Like I was thinking like gamma ray, which is something that is more scientific. Oh. For sure. <laughs> I didn't think Ray would be scientific. I'm sorry. <laughs> Guys. That's, I don't think that's You haven't it. helped me at all. Please help me out. <laughs> Somebody help her. Somebody tell her the answer. What could it possibly be? My gut is telling me it's in the twos, but my gut has failed me today. I see those eyeballs. Eyeballs. What are these for? Oh, Nathaner, what's up? That's another Familia member. That's uh, over on YouTube right there. We got some Familia over on YouTube and on Instagram right now. What's good, guys? Thank you for the uh, energy these. drinks, Familia. Bon J says high price. Bon J, I agree with you. I 100% agree with you. Like, I guess too high or it is high? <laughs> like, the price on these is is probably pretty high. I'm giving you a hint here. and I'm... The thing is, your hints, like, I don't know if I necessarily believe them. I've been saying this is a fire pair from the beginning. So, I don't know what you want me to tell you. All right, 275. 275, you're on. It's even higher? Oh yeah. Four twenty-five. Is that your official guess? Three seventy-five. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's your number here? I'm gonna keep going until you say I got it right. <laughs> well, you may have already gotten it right. Four twenty-five, because it's my birthday. <laughs> oh damn, she got it right. <laughs> Definitely did not get it right. Oh wow. Size eleven and a half. Wow. These right now. Dead stock in between four and uh oh, you can't really see that four and four sixty two. Wow. Crazy. These are I appreciate like, all the help guys. These are a super fire pair right here. I think we deserve a drink. I think we both deserve a drink okay. after that I one right there. I just got home from work, so I'm happy to drink. Let's have some bevies. Oh. Woo! Anybody out in the audience that's having a beverage with us, we're, we're about to, uh, we're going to take a shooter here. Have you guys ever heard of Screwball? Screwball! It's one of our favorite liquors that we haven't had since this quarantine started. <laughs> we're going to do an unpaid endorsement on a whole bunch of Screwball in the next, next video that we make for sure. So, I love it. So be ready for that. It's going to be great. I'm not pouring here. I should do that. Wow. What a jerk. A jerk. Drinking my Mucow again. 
Remember, if you guys see this, if you see this out there, let me know because I will literally pay you to ship it out to me. I can't find the shit anywhere anymore. Fucking love it. It's my favorite. Cheers. Cheers to anybody else who is having a beverage along with us. Enjoy. Got a, a question here. And where are you located? We are in San Diego. Uh, the good old Wales vagina. Yeah, we're hanging out in the Wales vagina right now. Where are you located? Yeah, where are you at, Bon Jack? Where, where's that, where is everybody that's in here from? Restore them. How much would you sell them for? Uh, if I if I restore the gammas there, I think we're looking at probably like three three twenty five ish maybe before like fees and everything. I expect to make a little bit less than that. But if I could be up around like. 275 300 i think that's pretty realistic honestly the liquor that i'm looking for Take the liquor, liquor. right here this is mu cow mu cow vanilla um this is a cognac right here we got oh bonjay from jersey dirty jizz what's yes. up man screwball the peanut butter whiskey you got it so screwball is actually from um san diego believe it or not it's from ocean beach there is a restaurant there a chain or two restaurants called the noodle house and there's a couple guys there that originally came up with the peanut butter whiskey and when it first came out it was a creamy almost Coffee, milkshake yeah it was like it was pretty thick and it was almost like a think of like a bailey's type of yeah, consistency and you actually had to keep it refrigerated otherwise it would spoil so after a little while, they had been selling it for a couple of years at several different locations that the owners owned within Ocean Beach, San Diego. And they ended up saying like, hey, we need something that we can keep on the shelf. We need something that can stay warm and won't go bad. And they ended up developing Screwball. So the first time that we ever had the actual Screwball version and not the milkshake version was after a football Sunday. And we had already had a couple of drinks with brunch. And then keep in mind, football starts at 10 a.m. Yeah. on the West Coast. So we were out for brunch for football, had a couple of drinks, and then we went over. And we were like, let's go here. They say they have that peanut butter whiskey. They think it's that milky, they use consistency type, and we like it. We're like, we'll stop, we'll get a drink, and we'll move on. We walk in, and Sailboat has to use the restroom. So I sit down at the bar, and the bartender comes over and is like, what do you want? And I go, the peanut butter whiskey. He goes, well, which one? And I'm like, what do you mean, which one? So he brings out two. Two shots, and how do I say no to two shots? And I drank them both, and he goes, which do you like better? And I actually liked the clear, like, amber liquid one, which is now the one that's being sold everywhere. He was like, good choice. I created it. <laughs> so we actually know that guy. Yeah, cool. it was so cool. His name is Jay. Amazing awesome dude. guy. Crazy, crazy good really, dude. Really, really nice. Yeah. Well, I will have to shout him out when we uh, post this up to social media in some way, shape, or form. So <laughs> anyway. Let's get back into the box here. We got two more pairs, three more pairs, two more, no, two more, two more pairs. Yeah, these two. Looking at the box, you know what this is. Size eight. What is it by the box? Yes, but what box is this? For what ship? Are you serious? Yeah. You're not going to find any. Well, I'm not going to know it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, pure and simple. This is something that you're going to have to remember. This is important. Is this from the song? No. And no. This, have to this isn't from the song. No, you need to remember this box for this style of ship. What kind of style of ship is this? Jordan. Jordan 1. Jordan 1. So they have this, a different box. So this box right here. Most Jordan 1s come in a box very similar to this style box. Right? I would never have known that. Now you do. Now I do. Yes, that's, Guys, important. I'm so that's important knowledge, okay? There's there's other one. There might be right here. Oh, okay. Right I would have found it eventually. Yeah. I'm like, let me take a look at the inventory, and then I'll know what it is. So Jordan, Jordan 1. This is a pine green 2.0. Okay. Which actually, I don't know why everybody's hating on this one. It's It's not too bad. In hand, these are actually halfway decent. They look dead stock, too. Oh, these are definitely dead stock. Most definitely. Most definitely. Size, what did I say? Size 8? Size 8. 
I'm neglecting. We have so many cameras running. Yeah, it's just like, it's cameras. so overwhelming. I don't know what to do. Pine green, 2.0s. Got some red laces on those babies. Throws, I don't understand why they, they compare red laces. to 1.0, to one that's why. Pink green, 2.0. Yeah. Fair enough. I guess that makes sense then if you're comparing the, the two styles. Uh, yeah, what do you think? 2.0, everybody says that they these are trash. They're trash. They're still they halfway are, decent. Uh, I kind of like them. I bet these things would be fucking awesome beat up. You got to beat the shit out of these first, and then they'd be real nice. Get that leather, leather nice and buttery, kid. Leathery butter. Leathery butter. Who doesn't like it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Back to reality here. Pine green, 2.0. These Sir. are trash according to sailboat just kidding <laughs> but i'm gonna say that they are 165 speak up nobody can hear you 165 165 she says in a size eight could eight be the one size 165 sell now price 196 buy now price 211 so she's a little bit off a little bit off Nobody has to drink that round. It's, really it's a sad. fucking shame. This has been a bad. This has been a bad. There's game. no one, no one drinking right now. Well, maybe you guys are. Hopefully you are because we're fucking fools. But you know, yeah, you're, you're right. It's about. <laughs> Cheers. I won't take a shot, but I'll take a sip. Some Coors lattes right here. All righty. Last pair of the box. Last pair. What do you think it is? Well, considering you just taught me what this box was, I'm going to guess Jordan won without even looking at it. <laughs> Could she be right? Oh, my goodness. She's right. right. I'm so right. Dry. These are a size 10 and a half. No, they're dead stuff in it. Are they dead stuff? Yeah. It's like they're, they got a cigarette odor. They do have a cigarette odor. But look, they don't look like they've been worn at all. Dead stock what cigarette odor. Going to have to work on that a little bit. I don't see any sort of drag. Yeah, it's definitely. It's, you know, it smells like a like a Vegas casino. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's awful. That's an awful comparison. We got some black gum bottoms here, Jordan ones. These are nice. in dead stock condition, but they do have a little bit of a mal odor to them. These are in a ten and a half. What do you do for cig odor? Uh, for cig odor, for cigarette odor on sneakers, I've tried a couple of different things. Um, the most effective thing that I've found for cigarette odor on sneakers thus far has been to start with some baking soda. And I just pour the baking soda in there and I sprinkle it and I try to get an even coat over the entire sneaker. So basically I'll take baking soda and I'll open up the tongue and I'll just, I'll dump it and I'll shake it up in there and everything like that. And I'll let it sit with clean airflow into the sneaker for probably like 48 to 72 hours. So I give it a, a couple of days. And then after that, I vacuum out all of the baking soda. I try to make sure that I get the baking soda completely gone from the one or from the sneakers, whatever the kind of sneaker it is. I try to get the baking soda completely gone. And after I vacuumed it all out, then what I do is I put these carbon fiber, they're like bamboo charcoal inserts, and I put them into the sneaker. And I put them in with the uh, like the old balls, that you know, the odor balls that you might have had as like a kid that you put in your sneakers to make them smell a little bit better. And again, I put the fan on it, so then you have the charcoal inserts going up into the sneaker with the sneaker ball at the bottom of the sneaker right there, and then a fresh breeze going through there which then carries that fresh scent through and that charcoal helps to kind of distill some of the cigarette odors. Now it's worked out pretty well. I did it with a pair of 750 uh, Yeezys that I had and it worked really, really well on those, but I've done it with a couple of other pairs, like a pair of uh, black cement threes and it kind of wor it worked, but not as well it as I wanted totally it to. Yeah. So Kind of depends on what the sneaker is, but definitely hit it with the baking soda. Make sure that you vacuum it all off because otherwise it'll leave like a little bit of a powder film on it. 
And then the, uh, the charcoal inserts, you can find them at like Walmart and Target or whatever. Those are actually really, really solid as far as helping to eliminate some of the odor. So I got some people over here on YouTube. We got uh, Rick besides the off uh, We got Familia. What's up, Familia? Hey, Broadway Joe. Fuck them kids. Familia, Steve. Oh, Joshua. Wow. whole bunch of Familia right now. What's up, La Familia? Represent. Repping. What's up, guys? Love to see it. Thank you guys for stopping through, uh, especially uh, we've got a lot of people up on YouTube right now. Uh, a little bit less on Instagram. Yeah. So this was the last pair of the box right here. We're gonna do a couple of other things. So stick around for a quick minute here if you just got in here. But you gotta guess the cost on these black gum bottom Air Jordan ones. Size 10 and a half. 10 and a half if you're interested. Dead stock, a little bit of cigarette odor, which of course I'm going to do my best to take care of. And I will let you guys know the results, of course, if you want to hear them. You are going to guess. Five. By Lee, I mean me. <laughs> <laughs> two hours and 45 minutes you're on hold two hours. i know this is wrong so i'm gonna get 245 dollars even though my real part says 185 why don't you do me a favor yeah stick with your real heart my real heart says 185 her real heart says 185 185 the current going price sell now 155 and the buy now price is one ninety five. So oh, you get to drink. I get yeah, to drink. Oh man, I'm so excited. Can you have your phone? Yeah, of course. All right, so let's uh, just because it's been this has been a ridiculous video, we're gonna get into that shotgun right now. You know, I know it's ah, we're spilling already, but that's okay. We'll just do a quick one. This is for for La Familia right here. Love it. Shotty time. Do it. Right. Count it. Two. It's so impressive. You can't even say it's, it's gone. gone. It's gone. No more. No more. So, there's a shotgun for you guys because I haven't drank in a while. She got the price right. We needed to make it happen. What about for me? I haven't drank it. I don't want a shot. <laughs> we'll give you a shot, okay? Jeez. <laughs> Let's do a little quick review of that box there so everybody who is just joining or joined kind of late can see it. Went through some ups and downs there. Not too many people on Instagram today. What's going on, guys? Where's my Instagram look? You know why? I'm going to tell you why. Why? I didn't, I didn't promote it. Why didn't you promote this? Because I'm doing a social media cleanse. <laughs> it's some bullshit. Nerd. The last pair that we opened, Jordan 1, black gum bottoms right here, dead stock condition, size 10.5. A little bit of this cigarette odor. I'm going to do my best to get rid of those. Or that. Get rid of those. Those those odors. Those mal odors, you know. We're getting rid of those. Fuck them. Pair number one. Pair number two from this box. Jordan 1. Pine green, 2.0s. Dead stock condition. Size 8. For all you normal size foot people, I suppose. Apparently, size 8 is like the normal kind of men's shoe size over the entire world. Fun fact. Really? Yeah. Wow. Seems small. Yeah. We have some Yeezy 350s right here. There you go. Just a little better. And these are the Desert Sages. Size 11. Dead stock condition. Anybody need some Yeezys? The orange in real them. life is very bright. impeccable. It's very bright it's so orange. Nice. It's a really bright orange, but it's nice. It's really nice. Good stuff right there. So, again, the three dead stock pairs. We've got three more pairs here. And out of them, two are dead stock. So five out of six pairs were dead stock this in this box. This was a really good box. I feel like crazy box. Are you gonna make me guess the price of the box? Crazy box. Because I would guess pretty high. Gamma Elevens. All dead stock. Gamma Elevens, right here. Amazing. I was super pumped on these ones, actually. I know that you didn't so, realize it, but I had I have no idea. Like, what makes them so special? Uh, this is just, I, I don't know the, like the history behind these specifically, 
but this is one of the Jordan 11s that they've like never retroed or anything. This is the only so time that it's come out. Yeah, very, very limited supply. And this is just like a heater colorway. This is the only real like all black colorway you could get until the, what was it, like the uh, graduation cap or something like that came out a year or two ago. Didn't and I, those ones are like all black. Didn't we just open the Looney Tunes when they're all black? Like all Looney Tunes ones? Yeah. For Jordan 11s? Huh? Are they not 11s? I don't know. Ignore this. The Looney Tunes ones. Michael. Oh, Space Jams. Space Jams. No, those have a white midsole. Uh, okay. We had some Nike Air Uptempo Olympics from 2020 right here. And those are in a size 11. Again, dead stock condition. Oh, yeah. And last but not least here, a size 10 and a half men, 12 women, off-white, Vapor Street, in dead stock condition. Nice, nice, nice. You got a nice box right here. It was good, yeah, this was really solid. I'm very, very happy with this box. So again, if you guys are looking uh, to see who I got these sneakers from, this is Retro Kickback on Twitter. It's at B T O I, uh, oh God. Two, uh, two, no, it's V T O I T O P 911. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. It's retro kickback, though. If you look up retro kickback, you'll find it. You sent a pretty solid box to you. Crazy good box. Pretty happy about it. You got, you got a lot of dead stock pairs. I feel like you can do a lot of work with them, too. There is a little bit of work I can do. Yeah. So this is fun. This is a fun box. A really, really good box right here. A lot of different stuff. Very, very varied. Good stuff right here. Nobody knows the cost of this box right here. If you're watching on Instagram or Facebook, or sorry, Instagram or YouTube, what do you think the cost of this box is right here? I'm looking shoot to it see. Out. Let's see. Shoot out a number right here because Lola's gonna have to take a guess. Oh, I am. Yeah. I didn't know I was going to. I oh. can actually like you're promoting them helping. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This side I know right here. Because I, I, I want to see what everybody else thinks. I know oh. what I'm gonna guess. You know what you're gonna guess. You know already. I do. Wow. She's good. I've been trying to tally. Anybody? We got we got oh, Joshua on uh, says 1200 over on YouTube. Anybody else? The banner says 1050. I'm waiting. Let me see. Do you want how many Anybody people else? Want to guess? Anybody else? Bueller. 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 Going once, going twice. We got, oh, Bonjay, 1350. All right, we're gonna do going once, going twice. 1420. And here we go, going once, going twice, and three times. So the guesses have been 1,200, 1,050, 1,350, 1,420. So I'm going to ask this to preface my guess for any of those within $100. Any, not you don't just say which one. That gives you a lot of information. It's a pretty big range, though, 1,050 to 1,420. Uh, no, none of them are. I was going to guess 950. You're pretty close. You're pretty close. Got this for 900 bucks. Yeah. I had a feeling. I had a feeling. Crazy, crazy good box for the price. Like, holy shit. That was solid. It's, a, it's yeah. I, I, I kind of could, I could see, I could feel his excitement, like, yeah. bursting off him as yeah. we were opening each pair. And I was like, oh, he got a good deal. And this guy hooked him up. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Crazy, crazy, crazy good box. Stupid pumped on it. Wow. Almost every box that we've opened recently has been like, really like a good. year of a box. So really, really, really awesome. Thank you so much. Definitely, definitely appreciate that. Shout out to the homie Retro Kickback on that because 
this is sick. This yeah. is like something that I needed right now. As you guys might be able to see behind me, my stock is like depleting rapidly. No, it really is. I've sold a lot of pairs recently. April was a very, very busy month. So hoping to carry that over into May. We're going to do a quick on foot review. Lola, show the people. What are you wearing? Show the people. We've got my ourselves some. Take a guess. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Pharrell Human Race. Are these the Solar Box? The solar? What are they? Uh, which pack? I think it's a Solar Pack. I think it's pack. a Solar Pack. Yeah. I think that sounds I love these. Right, but... They're probably one of my favorite pairs. They're very well worn, and I make him scrub them for me, so you can kind of see that he may, I make them scrub them. Because <laughs> I love these so much, and these are probably the shoes I get the most compliments in. Like, I can be in the grocery store. And people will be like, what are you wearing? I love those. She uh, has a tendency to muddy up her, her light kicks very quickly and only really has light kicks until last weekend when hopefully you guys saw the box that we opened up. So I have to clean that pretty regularly, but it's fun. It gives me a lot of uh, experience. And also stay tuned for the YouTube video where I will be comparing Jason Mark against Rejuvenator against uh, Crep against a laundry detergent. Which one will win? I don't know yet because I, I haven't made the video, but it'll be cool to find out. <laughs> now, for me, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do this because I don't want to take it off. I have my reacts, my wonderful looking legs here. Actually, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the React Light Bone Sale. These were the first React 87 colorway to come out, and thus, I guess, are probably the most expensive one on the market. React 87s dramatically lost their value after they flooded the market way with a ton of different colorways. But this is like one of my first big sneaker hits on Nike. So I'm very, very exciting for me. And I got to be honest, it's a very, very comfortable shoe. The only thing I would say is you got to wear a high top sock because you don't want this part right here cutting in. The lining is just a little bit thin, so it kind of pushes in and digs into you a little bit more, but it feels pretty supportive for the minimalist kind of structure that it has. So, not too shabby. Pretty nice. Yeah, yeah that's me. Yeah, we got some, we brought the heat back today because I know that somebody, uh, somebody was giving me a hard time about wearing some 40 last week. Not actually giving me a hard time. I'm giving some, I'm giving love. Oh, I no, they were like, you. they said they were like, yo, I'm surprised that you were wearing like the 40 and the threes. And, uh, and I was just like, yeah, I don't know. I love them. <laughs> like, I just love them. I love them so much. And I, when I pick shoes, I don't know what heat. I just go with what I like. Yeah. Yeah. Rock what you like. That's our big thing. That's like, yeah. So, but these ones we both <laughs> really like. Yeah. Like, I think I were wearing two of our most worn pairs right now, <laughs> actually, which is kind of ridiculous. I think like, you're right. <laughs> yeah. These are well worn at this point in time. They're well loved. I uh, definitely appreciate everybody coming through today. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Uh, I did something recently on my Instagram that a lot of you guys responded to, which was pretty cool. I just did the ask a question thing and I had never done that before. And it turned out really, really well. One of the questions that I got was, how did you get into reselling sneakers? So funny story is I bought a pair of Air Jordan 10s at the outlet thinking like, oh man, like Jordan's at the outlet. You never see that because I was pretty, I just bought like random sneakers at that point in my life. And I got them and I was like, oh, I'll try to flip them. Tried to flip them. I put them up. This is when Kixify was still popping. So I tried to sell them on Kixify and I got hit up with the oldest PayPal scam in the book. Somebody was like, yo, shoot me a, a message. Here's my phone number. So I shot him a message. And they said, I'll buy them right now for $300 with overnight shipping. And uh, they sent me a fake PayPal email. And it was like, oh, we'll release the funds once the item is in hand. Yeah, that's, don't ever make that mistake ever, ever. It's the oldest fucking scam in the book. I was young. I was naive. Fucked up. But silver lining, you learned from it. And look where you are now. Well, this leads back into the point of yeah. what got me into reselling sneakers that day that I got took, it was for about 300 bucks overall. After like overnight shipping was like $65. The shoe, it's, uh, there was just like a whole bunch of shit that went into the cost. 
It's like three hundred dollars I got took for. I said I'll never get took again on a pair of sneakers like that ever. Here I am. Educated yourself, worked your ass off, and we're still growing. Learned a lot of lessons. Learned a shitload of lessons. I tell you that much. But uh, that was how I got into reselling sneakers. So that's one story that I wanted to throw out there for the uh, the general public, so you guys kind of knew the background of why is there such a thing as sailboat sneakers. Well, that's why is because some motherfucker took my money from me, and I said I will never let that shit happen again. So, yeah, Aww. fun fun I'm story. So proud of you. Fun story. Right? Here we go. Good stuff. All right. Uh, any uh, any other questions? Somebody posted a fox face, which was cool. But I like chinchillas. Chinchillas are my number one animal. So just in case you're wondering about that, uh, somebody asked how I was if I was having trouble staying in shape, working out. Got to adapt. Got to adapt. Just overcome. That's one of the big things that I've been doing. Indoor workouts, a lot of push-ups, a lot of pull-ups. I got back into running after six years of not running. Some stuff like that. Uh, somebody asked me if I had ever sold an autograph shoe. I've never sold an autograph shoe, but I do own an autograph shoe, which is actually my number one overall grail ever. It's a pair of Supra Sky Top 2s. It is one of 10 ever produced. They did a sample run that was like a full-size run, and I got it signed by Chad Muska back in 2015. So that was pretty sweet. Big on that one. Uh, haven't ever sold a pair of autograph shoes though. So we've got a question right here. Uh, who got the better curls, Silva or Lola? Ooh, curls. curls. Oh, curls. Curls, yeah. <laughs> You're talking about shoes. Him. Yo, I think I, I think I got pretty good curls. Yeah, these are. So what I call my hair when I just let it go when it's wet, I call it Medusa hair because it's just like snakes. I just let the lettuce rage, basically. Got a lot of, a lot of hair here. One of the reasons why I grew up my hair is actually I had skin cancer when I was young, when I was 12 years old. So I grew up my hair and I just chop it all off. And I donate that shit to uh, cancer foundations or research foundations or whatever. The main one that I go to is Wigs for Kids because Wigs for Kids is a really awesome nonprofit organization that takes donations i believe it's eight inches plus mm -hmm. as long as the hair is in good condition mm -hmm. and they donate the kids directly or they donate the wigs directly to kids versus like a pantene beautiful lengths or a locks for love which actually works on a sliding scale of financial necessity and they also do not donate to people with temporary hair loss so for example a woman with a um with like breast cancer, yeah. that's considered a temporary hair loss due to like chemotherapy or something. So she might not be eligible for any sort of benefits and might have to pay full price for the wig depending on what is else is going on. So that's a uh, that's a big thing about the curls. Let's see, you sleep on silk sheets, don't you? That's cute. <laughs> Yes, we do. How did you know? <laughs> the silkiest of sheets. We had that Egyptian 5,000 pound Egyptian thread. <laughs> no, I do. I'm, I'm like a, I'm a product nerd. So I will be like, hey, can I try out this new product on your head and massage your scalp and see if it works? And I'm down with the head massage. So like that works for me. He's like, as long as I get the massage, I'm good. Try out whatever product you want, which I appreciate because I, I like to see what it does. We're doing another one. Yeah, we're gonna do one more. Let's see. Okay. I wasn't happy. I spelled it on the first one when I when I was uh, opening it, so I needed to open another Is one. Is it gonna be quicker or slower than the last one? Do you think? Do you think sailboat? Uh, I think I got a nice little buzz going. So this has really good potential right I think here. It'll be faster. Okay. So this right here, we got seven people on YouTube, and we got one person on Instagram. We got a total of eight people watching this right now. For everybody that's still here right now. Rock on. Thank you guys so much for sticking through this entire thing. Uh, you know, to the fucking stinking end right here. The stinking end. We're going to do one more shoddy for the people that are still around. And to say, uh, we're, we're going to go a little bit quicker. A little less than two. That's awesome. I just don't know how he does it. There's like a drip in there. Drip drop. Drip drop. 
There we are. There we be. Another episode of Sailboat and Lola unboxing some random fucking sneakers, drinking some booze. While we're stuck inside, living our life and having fun. Ooh. We're social distancing, but we're still trying to be social. And we appreciate you guys coming through. Definitely, definitely a really, really awesome unboxing. And we had a lot of people in here at one point in time. I saw we maxed out at 24 people. I saw on that. That's, That's wild. Cool. Yeah. So thanks, uh, La Familia, for stopping through. I feel like you guys kind of coordinated this, so definitely appreciate that. You guys are fucking awesome. Appreciate this. Oh, look at the love. We got so much love coming through right now. And uh, – Definitely, definitely an amazing experience. So stay tuned for all of the new content that's going to be coming out on YouTube. There's going to be at least three, potentially four or five videos dropping in the next week and a half. So a lot of really, really great stuff coming your way. Thank you again. Really can't thank you enough for coming through to the live stuff. It means the world, uh, especially in these fucking crazy times. And it's awesome to have you guys here. So. Shout out to, let's see, we got Henry here, we got McP, Lawrence, Timothy Hall. Wow, La Familia is killing it in here. So many Familia members. I'm loving it. I absolutely love the support, guys. So thank you guys so much for coming through. Hope you guys are staying safe and sane, staying healthy. Yeah, stay sane. Stay sane out there, too. That's obviously a tough thing for all of us right now during these tough times. So we'll see you guys in the near, near future. Check out the YouTube. Check out the social media. We're going to be kicking back, and uh, we hope that you guys will continue to join us for the future. Much love. Stay safe. Keep being awesome.